Hello and welcome to uh, my demonstration video of my Wally -E game. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm going to explain the, the UI in the top right. This is the uh, the magnet select selecting UI. Um, you can control this cursor here, the little black line, using the square brackets, or it'll be the bumpers on the controller, and uh, that'll be used to interact with the magnets uh, remotely. Um, the, the arrows up, up top, uh, they uh, correspond to the the square buttons on the left of a controller. So the player is the big orange block, can pick up these magnets using E, and they sit in like a relative position, see I can move different directions and it'll stay there. Uh, yeah, I can pick it up with E and drop it with E. and. I can also interact with the magnets by pressing F, and it'll add it to my magnet list up here. Um, this this pauses the game. I can't move. This is me pressing the buttons, um, and I can turn on the magnets, and well, it, they'll do different things. So it's quite straightforward. Magnet pushes anything in front of it that's metal. So I'll quickly put on pull so it doesn't push off the edge. Um, and the magnets are also metal, so they can attach to each other. And they can also pull in the player. There's, there's a little bit of a failsafe where if the player is stuck, you can press space and it will drop you. Um, but to solve this part of the level, because you can't make that jump, your jump isn't very high, um, you have to make a bridge with the magnets, because you can interact with it everywhere. Select the magnets. Oops. Yeah, and as you saw, the magnets turn off their colliders so that the player can't fly off the map by accident. It's a bit of a bug, but I mean, so be it. And yeah, to finish this part of the level, there's a couple ways you can ride to these. These are metal blocks, and they can't move, uh, but the magnets can fly to them. So it sort of inverses their functions. Um, but this is the second section, which uh, you have this blue thing which you can go up. It's a little bit buggy because it's a ramp and the game struggles with them. But you can go up on them and um, that's because you can't jump with magnets. I'm, I'm pressing space. It's, this is a spring here. A bit of a placeholder. Also by the way you can see this yellow block up there. That's a bonus item. Which is a little bit harder to get than solving the... Yeah. Uh, to, fix, to finish this level quickly. There's several ways you can launch yourself up which I'll do later. And there's this way, which the player can just float up on top of the the thing. Um, yeah. So again, you got to use a magnet bridge, or you can use this blue block to get across this gap here. Um, that the, as you can see, the whole level is sort of pushing you to go right, because you know there's not really much of a left. Oops. And by the way, this this is a lever. I didn't explain it very well, but I just walked up to it and pressed F, and you know, that made this this wall here go down. All right, I'm back with the <laughs> getting up the ramp. It's it's very difficult, but so be it. And this is the the third section out of four. And this one's a little bit more of a puzzle than anything else, which is what it should be in the first place. Um, so here you want to adjust all the magnets to get you up on top. You can't see it very well, but uh, up on top there's a there's a way forward, and to do that you use this spring. Let's see a bit of the next level over there. Um, not level, I mean next section. Yeah, so you use this spring to sort of adjust them. You need one of each type. As you can see, the player also switches the direction they're facing depending on the uh, the input. So if I press W and D, uh, it'll face diagonally. But it's a little hard to see which direction he's facing, because I haven't actually implemented, a, you know, a picture or a text or anything. Um, and th this bank will push you over here. Same concept. Get across. And here you have to use the delay and the pulse mode, because otherwise the the magnet doesn't push you very well. Um, I mean, I could show it. Let me just quickly push and I'll leave it on continuous mode so you can see what it does. But basically it um, 
it, it switches on and off every two seconds, the delay. So it'll be off for two seconds and on for two seconds. Alright, there we go, it worked. So that time, not particularly sure why I wasn't working before, but it worked eventually. And this is the final section. Uh, you have to leave your magnets behind, but no worries, there's other magnets here. Uh, when you interact with these magnets, all your list up there is going to get deleted, but it doesn't matter too much. And as you saw, list deleted, and you're stuck with this magnet, which is sort of has less functionality, as you can see. A lot of the things are grayed out. And you have to sort of use this magnet to uh, get across to here. This is the first platform. But okay, that yellow thing there is a uh, key for this door, and that lever turns off these blades. These blades stop the player from getting to the exit, which is that black thing over there. Uh, and to get to that, obviously you can't jump up two blocks, or I mean, you jump up one block. Uh, the the player has to get this block over there by using this magnet in the middle. So I'll switch it to pull mode. And you can ride that block, by the way. Uh, it's just a little bit buggy. Now you can see over here, you get trapped. You can't make that jump over there. Uh, I've tried, and you need the block up there, which is the shortcut to finishing this level. But I won't use the shortcut this time. Get the key. You just touch it. There you are. Now I have to go touch that door. Also, if you mistime that, you, you'll just fall off the edge. And it's it's difficult because it takes some time for you to actually attach onto the magnet. Oh yeah, the blades have turned off, as you can see. Very clearly missing, and I will just walk to the end of the level. That's that's it. That's the game. Alright, thank you for watching. That was the, the Wooly based game.